Hi, we're back again. I want to show you some of our new applique stuff. We have lots of new applique patterns and we're working on getting them all up and listed on the website. But we carry Buttermilk Basin. This is the Give Thanks truck and it's an old rusty pickup with a cornucopia and pumpkins and acorns and wheat sheaves and this goes in one of the big metal oval trays so that's a beautiful piece that's in stock and on the website this is the halloween camper if you want a fun little thing to stitch again it will go on the big tray and you can see it's all done up it's an old vintage style camper and there's ghosts and all kinds of fun things we have all of through the months it through the months around the year from so cherished and these are just three of the fall ones we've got the cornucopia with some beautiful fruit and vegetables we have a squirrel on a white pumpkin and we have a jack-o-lantern and these all finish off as a 10 inch circle um, great way to use some scraps and you can get the circles from us all pre-cut so you can then all you got to do is cut your little pieces out, full-size patterns. Everything you need is on the back of it, but those are great patterns. So that's one way to do applique. We go about it a little differently. Our kits um, that come to you, this is one of our new banners, scallop banners, and this is called Boo. And this has a jack-o'-lantern, a big black spider dropping down from the top from her web, lots of pretty beads and embellishments on it. So you can see, and it's a nice size, you can see how tall the piece is and how wide it is. But when you get it, I wanted to show you how they come. And this is everything pre-cut for you. These are your center pieces. This is your back piece that gets layered on and then this flips over. And it's not very neat, I know but it gives you the idea. But we have your pumpkins all cut out, the leaf. This is to do all the curly trent tendrils that are around the bottom on him there. When this is flipped down, your pre-cut letters for Boo, your spider body. This is to do all the eyes and the face on your pumpkin. This funky yarn is just so cool. This is to make your spider web. And this hairy yarn is to make his legs. And then you have a bag of beads here that's green and gold. And these aren't your cheap beads. These are nice beads. Your Chanel needles number 23 or 24, I think it is I use when I'm working with these, slide right over it, no problem. Um, that does his eyes. There's a scattering of beads up here around Boo in the background, on the bottom, on the pumpkin, and then the eyes of the spider. So that's Boo. And then some of our other fall ones, this is Frosty Falling Leaves. It's a little bit simpler design. And then we have this fall one with the acorns. When you get this, you're getting the acorns, the stars, all the beads, everything's pre-cut. You're just gonna sit down and start sewing. If you need thread, we have the thread there that you can add to it. We know a lot of stitchers have oodles and oodles and oodles of Baldani, trays and trays of thread. And this is just one of many here at the studio. So why buy a five, 50 ball of thread if you don't need it. So we tell you what color you need. You can do whatever you want to do. You can add it to it or use your own. All works good. These, slide this out of the way. This is one of our cuffies. And what this is, is a jute pot. It's plastic lined, so you could put a plant pot in there and you don't have to worry about the moisture coming through. But what we've done is design these little cuffs so you can change them. And this is one I did with the fall leaves, so it matches the hanger here. So you could have this on the wall and this around your plant pot. We have these in two sizes. This is the medium one, but it's our fall cutouts on a black cuff. When you get the kit, it's got your pre-cut leaves. It's got the snaps for the back that I'm snapping right now. It's got all your beads 
And again, you can add the thread if you need it. But you can see it goes all the way around. So that's our cuffies. And I have a new one I'm working on because we also have a small pot. This will be a Christmas cuffy. And it's only partially done, but you can see the general theme of it is a snowman in a field. And then this is one of our newest scallop banners. This one's almost done. I've still got a little bit of stitching to do and to stack it and assemble it, and that will be done. And this one is a winter wonderland scene with the two snowmen and there's snow, there's glittery beads, there's going to be rusty snowflakes and some fancy stitching. But hopefully that will be done this week or next week and be up on the website soon. But that's some applique for you. Thank you for joining us. All of this can be found on our website, searsportruckhooking.com.